As we can clearly see, the Greeks utilized both the Greek words Messias, a transliteration, and Christos, a translation, for the original Hebrew term Messiah, which literally means in English, the anointed one of Yah. So why change it? What was it about the original Hebraic title of the Son of Man that ensured it could not remain in either the Greek and or English translations? Historically, the word Christos was far more acceptable to the pagans who were worshipping Creston, Christos in Egypt. More on this later. And Christos Mithra was worshipped in Persia around 1200 BCE with very much of the same world religious traditions that exist in the world religion of Christianity today. And as such, why the Mother Worldwide Church Organization of Catholicism retains the images and idols of Christos Mithras today in the Vatican itself. And why the Greeks retain the images and idols of Christos Serapis, which originated out of Egypt, in which these folks in antiquity called themselves Bishops of Christ, well before the worldwide religions of Christianity was even known. Or was it? But we will come to that subject later. The Hebrew word Mashiach has been translated in the Old Covenant of the King James Version as anointed in most places. But as Messiah only in two places, namely in the book of Daniel chapter 9 verses 25 and verse 26. This word is a title although it was used incorrectly as an appellative and or name later on. Thus, this word was faithfully retained in the Old Covenant with the King James Version only in Daniel chapter 9 verse 25 and 26 as its original Hebrew character and meaning was retained. Here is where we will find one of the main themes of controversy because we are indeed questioning the accuracy and actual translation of the King James Version. Because there are those on this earth that claim that the King James Version is king. But for the purposes of this scriptural study, may we request that the viewers recognize that the intent of this study is not about which translation is best and or not, but rather the importance and significance in identifying the true King of Kings because the true king of kings was to be anointed by his father himself.